My husband stays home. <laughs> he doesn't like to travel in the right, van. So do you have a washer and dryer in here? Yes, I do. I think we're in a luxury apartment and you'd be right but instead we're actually in a coachman beyond so the first thing that catches my eye teresa is mm -hmm. kind of your bed setup let's talk yeah. about that then the curtains have got to be uh addressed because that's so cool it makes it feel like so homey in here yeah so what i did was um it says a, a couch that folds down i just keep it folded down and then i have a beddy which is um kind of like a comforter and sheets but it's just two pieces and then I just use it as a day bed. So I just remove the pillows, unzip it, and I'm ready for bed. Ready for bed. So and, and it's powered, so it kind of comes out like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it stays like this. Oh, you stay like this? Yeah. Now, if I'm going to make it up with my daughter or my husband, um, there's... You kind of use these cushions here. Yeah, for this, like this cushion, bed. and then there's a cushion that goes there that I have at home, and then there's two tables that also are at home. But they fit in here, and then the bed comes out to here. So it's a huge bed if you oh, yeah. need to make it it's, big. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Yeah. That's so great. I love your stuffies. Yeah. So I've got, yeah, Bucky. And then this is Gas Squatch. It's, the, it's a gas station in Idabel, Oklahoma. And I just I thought it was funny. <laughs> Tell us about your curtains. These are just so, so yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, I love mid-century modern. And so it's kind of a mid-century modern pattern. And I figured with the white, mm -hmm. the yellow just kind of makes it pop. So it's yellow, black, and gray is kind of my color scheme in here. And it's a tension rod? Yeah. Just a shower curtain tension rod. Um, cool. If I go over some heavy bumps, sometimes it'll work its way down, but <laughs> oh, overall it stays up that's most right, of the right. time, yeah. Now this is kind of cool, you have a, a Truma air conditioner, yep. that's kind of a Coachman thing. It's one of the it is. first in the vans, right? Coachman uh, did start adding them after I got my van. I had a 12 volt Pro Air that oh. was just couldn't keep up with the heat. So I just actually had this installed and haven't had I haven't had a chance to really put it through its paces yet, but um, but it's really slim profile. Yeah, very. And uh, very quiet. I'm yeah. Told, so, so looking at the galley, mm -hmm. um, again a really nice chef's galley. I think for oh, a van. Oh yeah, and that's what that was my big because it's almost the same as what the Travato has, the Travato G, which is a, I love that galley and I love the bigger fridge. Right. Because I got to carry ice. I've got a seven pound bag of ice in here, <laughs> and I keep a lot of you know like. Uh, frozen thing you know frozen meat and things so i can cook yeah. when i'm on you know at a campground and then i uh yeah this is more this is like a plastic normally this stuff is sticking magnet yes so what did you do here um swapped out the 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 original panels and uh ordered stainless steel so that i could put my magnets up was that a project uh luckily somebody on our facebook group um had the measurements uh, but and then I followed uh, actually Ginger's instructions. Uh, Ginger uh, walkabout. She had instructions for uh, you know how. That. Yeah, because uh, you have to be real careful. You don't want to pull this off. It, you just kind of pull it back a pull little. it back a little yeah. bit. So weekend project. Pretty yeah, cool. I added a mirror here. This is plastic, so uh, if it falls, it won't break. It's nice to be able to see yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's always these tiny mirrors in the bathroom. We'll show you that in a second. Yeah, but, uh, that's really smart. And then the other thing I did to make this space a little more functional i don't know why but they put the lagoon mount on this side mm. i got another one put it here and then because this i have a um mattress mm. or like a topper it raises it a little so i got a taller um pole and then i got a bamboo uh, tabletop bigger and so it's really sturdy but it you know just tucks away right. and then of course this is a little footstool <laughs> and this is you done some things here yeah i put a um backsplash and they're just uh they're just like little they're not magnetic but um i didn't i mean the plastic ones are okay but i just thought this looked kind of cool and, and was a little yeah. bit more neutral yeah just so great yeah um a counter extension oh yeah there. so we put this because there's uh you know just that little bit just of extra, extra space, space right. yeah and this is actually uh it's a cutting board there's a company that makes like cutting boards out of Korean scraps mm. and I just you can't tell them specifically which one you want but you just tell them the color scheme and so I think I went with whites and grays and so it just kind of matches now do you have an induction cooktop or yeah so that's what okay so that's what and then there. of course this is to keep you know in case anything falls we don't want right. to break it yeah good idea A little. very smart um, and then we added this because there's a plug behind the cabinet 
you know, for the induction cooktop. Mm. So this is actually like an extension mm. and it's plugged into there. But now I have two plugs there and two USBs and that super smart little game changer. <laughs> right. Just the littlest things. Yeah. Um, would you mind showing us your bathroom? Because yeah. people love to see van bathrooms. I know. <laughs> kind of at an angle so that door kind of falls open. But um, so the, this was actually the very first thing we did. I even ordered this before. I got the van, it's a shower curtain extender. Yeah. So it adds about a foot for the shower. Which is significant, yeah. right? And so it's really comfortable to take showers in here. Um, it has a shower miser. So. Which means? Um, you put it on divert for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or just a little bit less than a minute. It gets the hot water to it and you put it on shower and so you, you don't have to waste water waiting for So it kind of puts the up. water back into the tank. Uh, uh, well, it gets you right to the hot water. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And a very used bathroom, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Good job. I mean, it's, you know, this is home. So right? home, when I'm not home, it's home. So I'm not going to. That is so great. Thank I'm you I'm not going to be uncomfortable. Totally get it. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van travel experience. We help you be a better RVer, whether you're no time still researching, part-time taking great trips of days, weeks, or months, or even a full-time traveler like myself, now entering my fifth year of full-time travel in my Winnebago camper van. Honored to have you here. Thanks for watching. Get it. And then the other thing that's not really a mod, but uh, made a huge difference for me, because I've tried different things in this space back here. Mm -hmm. So I call this my closet, but... Um, I could never find a place to keep laundry that it wasn't like in my way. And those last two cabinets I was using for clothes. Uh, I got this, so the two top two drawers are clothes, bottom drawer is laundry. And now I can store things in those cabinets. So nothing is in my way that I'm constantly finding, trying to find a home for. And that's kind of a key for yeah. van is space planning yeah. and where to put things. So, so uh, those are things that like I don't use. It's about like my, you know, big bug catcher lamp thing. Um, you know, supplies, whatever right. I, that you just don't need to get to all the time. Beyond the Fern? Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. And it's Beyond the Fern. <laughs> beyond the Fern. So it's, subscribe. Yeah, it's a little your, hard to find yet, but. That's okay. And these are all your control panels yep. here. And have a Firefly. Oh, well, that's nice. And then. Uh, Sounds like tanks and AC. Yeah, tanks, uh, lights, and the lights are dimmable. You can't really see them right now, but I do have the, the uh, LEDs under here mm, on. Mm-hmm. You can just see that. It's so nice at night, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just so great. You're talking about laundry. Yeah. Now, the big surprise is you have a washer and dryer in here? Yes, I do. Let's <laughs> see that. Okay. And so it's hidden behind the curtain. What do we got here? And there we go. There we go. Yeah, so. I. Uh, so this is kind of storage right now, but um, this is my washer. So it has the washing tub here. No way. And then this is a spinner. So it doesn't dry it. It just spins out the water. Okay. And then I was using this for about a year and then hanging my clothes. And I saw some other people with this and I really debated it. I was like, do I need this? And I was like, I really want a dryer. Um, so this is the clothes dryer. And it's, oh, yeah. wow. It looks like a tiny dryer. Yeah. You could even, um, it has even a sanitizer. And for whatever reason, if you have tennies and you wash them, you can dry them in there. Ah, that's so that's what that little amazing. rack is. But it, um, so what I'm in, in, travel mode it sits down here this goes into the bathroom uh, in parked mode like this not using it it just stores up here and then laundry day I just pull it out now um, the way I use this is I have a bucket that I fill with water and I can fill it with hot water if I need to and just you know you do a little bit of clothes at a time um, so cool. and I only do it if I have full hookups because you know you don't want to drain your water tank and fill your yeah. your gray tanks and this just plugs into 110 yeah probably both of them yep um i think it's the first time i've ever seen a washer and a dryer in a van that's yeah. pretty cool yeah that's yeah. pretty cool You're you know and i worried that oh this thing's gonna be bulky and taking up like i really worried about that um but it's been fine even when i had it sitting here it really wasn't in my way like i thought it would be and the idea is just laundromats are kind of a just don't yeah, want to do it, I, so. did, I you know either finding a laundromat or like the campground. You never know. Yeah. You know people washing out their I've rugs, seen the dog, and dog stuff. Dog I know. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've seen all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, uh, 
That is so cool. <laughs> so we're going to show you outside. Uh, uh, Teresa did a little bit on the back. Let's uh, jump outside and show us that. Okay. And Teresa, this is, again, kind of a standard Coachman Beyond yep. on the Ford Transit. It's about 22 mm -hmm. feet long? 22 feet. 22 um, feet. And it is the LI3, so I have lithium. So lithium, got the awning, so fairly standard stuff. But what yep. you've done out here is right here. We're going to talk about this. Yeah, and this was, um, I can't take credit for any of the ideas behind this, but um, one of our, it's, it started on our Facebook group, and uh, I don't even know how many of us have done this now, but we've added this prime design ladder, and it's, um, it doesn't require drills, you know, to be screwed in or anything like that. It just, like, attaches kind of, at the bottom, yeah. like, almost like a suction, I guess, and it's, it's really sturdy. And then the box, um, it's, I think it's locked right now, but I keep my power cord and my fresh water hoses in here, because I, my, my fresh water hoses... I had this plastic tub that was in the back, so you know it's taking up real estate. Right. And it freed up so much room in the back. That is really clever. Yeah. That kind of just blends in; you don't really see it. Mm -mm. Um, and it's not. You're a Bucky's fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Um, now your sewer hose stores. Uh, it is actually in. It, so it has a special little space. Has a special for it. like little thing there. Okay. And, and I like got... the Travado a little bit, but this is a good idea for. Yes. opening up some space and yeah. keeping the mess out here which is great and i did get a sewer hose just as a tip it's one uh it's called the rhino flex so it's a little stiffer so it folds down really compact fit, fits in there but it stretches out pretty long that's great yeah so um got a youtube channel fern is the name of your van yes so tell us about beyond the fern it's a play on fern the beyond <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not that creative i don't know <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I asked my daughter, I said, do you like it? And she's like, yeah, that's cool. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's, again, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, solo female traveler, yep. um, husband's kind of like, yeah, go do your thing. Yeah. Um, any advice for, for ladies that might be in the similar situation? The husband is uh, I mean, just do it, right? Yeah. Just, kinda, do it. just do it. Just do it. Well, I always stay in places I feel comfortable in. I mean, don't go somewhere you're not comfortable, but I mean, I don't ever feel scared or yeah. afraid. If anything, I'm, you know, if I get a flat tire or something, I'm, you know, worried about that but yeah. you know everything else that's is what roadside fine. service is for <laughs> yeah exactly that's why i have triple a oh, this guy's driving away with his awning out uh oh let's see how far he gets we we'll have to go run him down yeah um well teresa just thank you again for for sharing yeah and uh, just a, an honor to have you as part of the, the amazing audience we have and for being a, a guest host yeah uh, that was fun yeah. Um, now, where can people follow you? So, YouTube uh, channel is YouTube, Instagram. So everybody music. subscribe. Yeah, so we, subscribe uh, so it go, shows up at the search. Again, if you're kind of interested in the, the female travel aspect, but there's yeah. a lot of you doing. Oh yeah, yeah. So to be public about it and put it out there for people to, yeah. to learn from, it's really important. So yeah, just thank you again. Yeah, it was awesome. Be on the fur. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Thanks. kind of travel solo yeah I travel um, short trips and, and this is actually my longest one six weeks but I usually do like two to four weeks um, my husband stays home <laughs> he doesn't like to travel in the van uh, well, he, he will like overnight but he doesn't like the long trips he'd rather just get there you know stay in the hotel stay in a hotel <laughs> sounds familiar to anybody yeah <laughs> But it's cool you guys are able to do your, your yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You've gotten, you've yeah, had your supportive. van how long now? A uh, year and a half. year and a half? Since August of 21. Yeah. End and, of August, yeah. And what else did you look at from a van perspective before landing on Coachman? Uh, I, when I really first started getting interested, I was thinking about leisure travel vans. Um, and in searching for leisure travel vans on YouTube, I came across vans. And then, and I knew I wanted lithium, but I didn't have the concept yet. Like, I was thinking it's got to be aftermarket. And then I saw, um, actually it was Kevin's video where he tested his AC mm -hmm. and he was talking to lithium. I'm like, wait a minute, how are you charging it? And then I saw the video that you did with him with the interiors and I was like, oh my gosh, it comes with lithium. You know, the G floor plan is so cool, but because they changed it with, you know, not having the puzzle bed, I needed to have a way that if my husband or my daughter comes with me, I can, you know, make a bigger have bed. have a place to plant them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, then you, you were in Tampa um and you walked through the coachman and i was like oh my god i love that van because honestly their website doesn't do it justice mm -hmm. um so when you walked through it i was like wow that's amazing and then i showed it to my husband and he's like yeah that, that i like that that's great yeah that's and great. so uh joined the facebook groups um i had uh pre-ordered 
this identical van. And then a couple posted theirs for sale that uh, they were going to be spending more time with grandkids, so they weren't going to be traveling. Only stayed in it four nights. It was brand new. It was, you know, 2021. It was 2021. So I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> I got to so jump on scored. this. That's my van, right? You scored. So, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And one of the nice things I think about Coachman is they have white cabinetry that's mm -hmm. real wood, Amish made. Yes. Um, Thank you for sharing your yeah. van with us. You've done some amazing decorations and some modifications. Oh, 